you said Mahomes treated the second half. Like, repeat that one more time. Let's get to Mahomes there and what you thought. Yeah. What happened with Kansas City yesterday? The second half of that game, you know, they're they're up 21-3, and and, and Cincinnati didn't look good. Um, The second half, he got got a little lax. It was like it, it was like they have another game to play if they lose this one. <laughs> he wasn't playing like this was it. How does something like that happen? It, it just it does. I'm telling you, it does. I mean, the first half he wasn't running around. He was running up in there when he had to scramble, getting the two to three or four or five yards, making plays, and then all of a sudden he started he started doing the dancing around, you know, like like the like his offensive line, like last year when his offensive line was bad. What he had to do. And he didn't have to do that. I mean, case in point, those three points that they – that there's no way you throw that ball with Tyreek Hill at the end of the first half. Mm-hmm. And Andy – listen, Andy's always going to try to jump on the sword, but Mahomes is not like a first- or second-year guy. Like, this is – he's been there, done that. You cannot complete that ball knowing that your guy can't get out of bounds or, you know, stop the clock. You can't do that. He, he knew better. And he said, I got greedy. You, you can't do that. Well, and, it's, and the second half was more of that. Yeah, it did seem that way. It did seem like, you know, um, the Bengals were kind of daring him to do the big play stuff, right? By putting eight, yeah. eight um, in coverage, sometimes just rushing three guys and, and, and daring him to, you know, to be the, the big play guy when they're, they're basically showing him to just keep making that profit and matriculate the ball down the field. And and he dropped the football a couple times. I mean, it was just wild to see that yeah. happen, Marshall. I just I, – I could not. It just – it looked like one of those – one of those – actually, it looked like early in the season we were questioning, yeah. was the Mahomes magic gone? And, and then they tightened it up. That focus came back, and you saw you saw the, the, the Chiefs that we know of. And then – it just it, it came back. Do you think the ma- I mean, look, I mean, the mystique. There, there is something that comes with that word when you you know when it's used. Certainly now, when the AFC is now being reconfigured after two decades of Brady, right, and him being out of the conference for two years now and maybe out of the league, but um, that he that this is a, a reordering of things. And the fact that Mahomes has made it to four conference championship games is remarkable, but as a 50% hit rate on making the Super Bowl and only one W in the case, do you think that this uh, mystique has taken an irreparable hit, Marshall? No, no I, I don't think so, Rich. I, I think it's just uh, there's a learning process to what you learn about playing in this league and not taking it for granted. I mean, the Dan Marino will tell you that. Uh, Jim Kelly will tell you that. And and he will he will definitely um, evaluate his play in that second half. Uh, that 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 the throw that he made at the end of the second quarter and in the second half, he will evaluate his play, and um, and and he'll he he will be better. He will be better. Hey, you watched all the way to the end. Thanks for that. Watch more right here.